are just flooding in pay-per-view action this week from Crown Jewel to Bound to Glory to NXT Halloween Havoc next week. We are going all over the place, but before we get to our review of Crown Jewel, we have to, to predict TNA or Impact's Bound for Glory pay-per-view. We have seven amazing matches, a new championship being added, and of course, um, probably the women's match that should be made if I think this card. All that and more. Welcome to a brand new episode of Kim and Talk Wrestling, and we are predicting Bound for Glory, and we are starting... I work with a bunch of Impact wrestlers, and I'm really excited for this pay per view. This, to me, besides anniversary, Bound for Glory is literally one of my favorite pay per views of the year. I feel like they very much blow out all the stops for this. It's in Vegas. The inspirations they do, like, how could we go wrong? How could we go wrong with this pay per view? So I'm really excited. So we're gonna predict it. So let's start with our first contest. So we have Heath Slater and a TBA tag team partner. Wrestling against violence by design. Now, I'm going to assume that the TBA... See, violence, Rhino's in violence by design. So, I'm very intrigued to see who Heath Slater's TBA is, unless maybe Rhino's... I don't really know who Heath Slater's TBA is going to be, because I would assume it would be Rhino, but Rhino's in violence by design, so it's definitely not going to be him, unless Rhino's going to turn into violence by design, which I could totally see happening as well. Um... Maybe Jose. Maybe. I don't know. I just see Jose just being his TBA. But nonetheless, I'm picking Heat Slater and whoever his TBA is. I think that Violence by Design is a really cool tag team and they're doing really good things. But I feel like since Slater just came back from injury and they were planning on doing big things with Slater before he got injured, that just makes sense for him to win. So Heat Slater and TBA is going to win that matchup. Next, for the Impact Women's Tag Team Championships, I'm so excited, we have Decay versus The Inspiration. So, it's funny too, because when the Iconics actually got released, I was the person that said they should go to Impact. I didn't say they should go to AEW right away, because Impact was rebranding their tag team division for the women, so I felt like it just made sense that they went there, and thank God, they are. But for this match, I'm of course going with the inspiration. I definitely feel like they could bring a lot of eyes to Impact because since Impact really isn't on TV, it's on Access and then it's on Twitch and it's not really available to a lot of people, I feel like maybe viewership could go up and then maybe the Impact can eventually get a TV deal, which is what they so desperately need. Um, but this match would be really good. All four women are really talented, but I just feel like the inspiration are going to get the tag team title run that they deserved in WWE they didn't get. I'm really excited, first of all, to see their song, because they actually wrote and sang their own entrance song, which I'm super excited about. And I'm just excited to see like how they fit in with the Impact crowd. You know, it's in Vegas, a lot of cool things are happening, but the inspiration are going to be your new Impact Women's Tag Team Champions. And now for the Exhibition Championship, because Josh Alexander, Plan C, catch that in, he's wrestling Christian Cage. So we have Trey Miguel versus Steve Macklin versus El Pantasmo. I'm gonna go with Trey Miguel. I think that they really like Trey Miguel, and from what I've seen of him, I think he is super talented, and I really just see them doing really big things with him. This match would be really good. Any match within the X Division is probably one of the best matches on the card. I was such a huge fan of the X Division when I watched Impact all the way back in 2010. <laughs> um, but the X Division is such a talented, talented program of men. I'll go with Trey Miguel for your new X Division champion. Oof, so now this 18 man thing, right, it's a, um, it's a scramble and basically how it works is there's 18 people and it works like a Royal Rumble and then the final two wrestle like a regular match in one. So I believe this match is the number one contender ship for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. So in this match you have Rich Swan, Brian Myers, Moose, William Morrissey, aka Big Cass, Chris Saban, Raj Singh, Ace Austin, Laredo Kid. Madman, Matthew Reynolds, and nine TBDs. So I see a lot of people maybe through Forbidden Doors being in this TBD, maybe a Jay White since we saw him at the end of Slammiversary, maybe a Buddy Matthews, um, maybe I'm holding out really high hopes for someone from AEW to appear too, 
But for me, I'm going to go with William Morrissey. I just feel like it makes the most sense for him to win. I definitely see them doing a lot of things with him. Actually, speaking of the 19 BD, it could definitely be Bray Wyatt. <laughs> like, Bray Wyatt could be one of the 19 BDs. This just came in my head because I know that him and Impact were very much talking, so... Hold out for that. But I just think William Morris is going to win. I definitely think that the thing that Impact is lacking right now is a new face for their company. And that's something that I've been saying for once. That they definitely need someone to take that number. They need a number one guy. And I think William Morrissey is the man to do it. So I'm going to want William Morrissey to win the 18-man scramble. There's a certain word of what they call this match. It's not 18-man scramble. I am just saying that to make it easier for this video. <laughs> And speaking of dream matches, so I really want this next match to main event. I think to me it's the thing that's making me buy the pay per view this Saturday at 10 o'clock. It is after Dynamite. It's Deanna Perrazzo and Mickey James. This feud has been absolutely amazing for someone who's followed like me who's followed Deanna ever since the Indies, like when she when she was first in the Mayhem Classic and then like her run in NXT and like just just see what what she's doing. I know the PWI 150. Well, I'm filming this on Wednesday night, but the PWI 150 comes out tomorrow, and I definitely see Deanna being within the top three. Even though Britt's my number one, I would I would not be mad if Deanna's one. But regardless of that. <laughs> This match is going to be amazing. It's like everything you've ever wanted. For me, I'm going with Deanna. I don't see Mickey because Mickey's doing a lot of work with NWA and Mickey isn't necessarily signed to Impact. I know they're still a forbidden door, but I just don't see Deanna taking the L, especially because now she has all this momentum and she is single-handedly like carrying Impact on her back. And I'm not even joking when I say it. Like when I think of Impact, I think of Deanna. So I'm going with Deanna. Like I said, this match main event, it is probably one of the biggest matches in I'll argue, like, besides Kenny and Swan at the, at, at Rebellion, this is the biggest match in Impact this year. And I'm expecting really good stuff. So, Dion is going to play out the win and prove why she is the number one woman wrestler in the world right now. <laughs> and we'll go, so we'll go to the Impact to Joel Media Championship first before we get to the main event. So, it is a six-way scramble intergender for the Impact Digital Media Championship. So to me when they first announced this title I thought that was a really interesting name for a title and not necessarily something I would name a title after. But you know I like that it's both a man and woman's title. I think that's super cool and super different. So in this match you have John Schuyler, Crazy Steve, Fala Ba, Jordan Grace, Chelsea Green, and Tamila Dashwood. I see a woman taking it just because they could like very much like look a woman won the title. How cool is that? Let's continue the woman's revolution in wrestling. To me, it's Jordan Grace. I think that Jordan Grace is extremely underrated within wrestling. She is such a phenomenal human being. I've worked with her before. She's nice. She's amazing. And she's really good in the ring. And I think that having Jordan, like, kind of win this title first would be such a huge deal. So I'm going with Jordan Grace. I think this match should be good. It should be interesting to see, like, how much physicality the men and women actually have within each other and not just the girls with the girls and the guys with the guys. And I'm just really excited. I think the match should be cool. And I we love a new championship. That name's a little iffy, but the new championship I'm excited for. And for our main event, it is Christian Cage versus Josh Alexander. So I actually predicted that this would be, like, the Bound for Glory match all the way back in June. So the fact it's happening, I'm really excited. I think Josh Alexander takes it. I don't necessarily know what Christian Steel is with Impact right now because as you're kind of seeing on AEW, like he's he's kind of being featured less and less and he's featuring more on Impact. But I don't know like if that's as a permanent thing. I don't know if that's maybe because they needed to get the title off of Kenny. But I'm definitely going with Josh Alexander. I really think that you can really showcase him and ha and pretty much make the whole company around Josh. I think Josh is a phenomenal wrestler from the stuff he did with the North to the X Division Championship to now. He is probably Impact's top guy. But, you know, every top guy needs a couple people to help him to help establish Impact as one of the top wrestling companies in the world because they definitely have the women's division to back it up. This match would be really good. I wouldn't be so mad if this was the main event either because I am expecting big things from this match, but just because I'm looking forward to Deanna and Mickey a little bit more, that's why I really want this match to take place as the main event. But this match would be really good, and I am picking and new Josh Alexander, your new Impact World Heavyweight Championship. So... That is our Bound for Glory predictions. I didn't realize that the card was so short. It's only seven matches, and I believe the Heath Slater match is actually on the pre-show. So it's really only six matches, but I mean, it gives a lot of room for matches to go super long. Like, Deanna and Mickey should be given like 25 minutes, and so should Christian and Josh. So I'm expecting longer matches on this pay-per-view. But that's about it. So comment down below your Bound for Glory predictions. Um, 
make sure to order the pay-per-view. I know that Impact has really, like, been trying to insert their way into, like, top wrestling companies. And I think they do. Like I said, they have the women's division to back it up. And I'm expecting big things from this pay-per-view. And that's why we're predicting it. So that's it for me. And the next video after this will be predicting Halloween Havoc, which also is really short. It's only four matches. But that's it for me.